This is a quick tutorial on how to make one of these framed hoops that you can hang. I've got one here ready made and this is the one that we'll be making today. Now I've got my hoop, my fabric with the embroidery. I have a plain glue stick. Yes, this is exactly all that you need, nothing special. Scissors for fabric, a pen, a piece of string, and two thumbtacks for the back and I've also got a piece of card I'm going to be finishing it off on the back with this brown craft paper there's my design now I'm using a piece of fabric that's got a gaping hole cut out in it but that doesn't matter we're only concerned with uh, with the design now in order to draw where we need to cut I want you to flip this over so that our pen marks actually sit on the reverse and not on the front so our design is actually going to sit right there, right in the middle. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. But we're actually going to draw around the outside of that hoop. So holding down your hoop and just using a plain ballpoint pen, you're going to trace around the edges. Now that you've got your line drawn around the edge, we need to add an inch around the outside to actually draw the cutting line. We need that extra inch to be able to fold it onto the inside of the hoop. So with a ruler, I'm just going to go ahead and go around measuring one inch. Now it's time to cut it out. Now we've got our circle cut out. There's our line for the hoop on the outside. Now before we put the hoop on there, we are going to cut out the little backing piece. So you're going to use the center ring for this. And you're going to draw on the outside Now, I want you to cut this out slightly to the outside of that line. So, a couple of millimeters, about that far. Okay, now there's our little circle. And this is actually going to go and sit on the back and cover the back of the hoop. This is also where you can write your name and your date. It's gonna look beautiful. Now for the fun part. We're going to flip this over, separate your hoop, and I want you to loosen this slightly so that that goes on and off quite easily. There we go. And you're going to take the outside hoop with that, um, with that little mechanism, and we're gonna put it underneath our fabric. You're going to position this over the top so that that is as much along that edge as possible. We're going to take that center hoop and you can see that the way that I've positioned it, that that drawn line sits quite evenly around the edge. And here you might want to just sort of reposition it ever so slightly if needed be. Then we're going to press that in that fabric is going to pop up. And then we're gonna check on the other side to make sure that that is nice and even and in the center. That looks pretty good to me, although I can see it's a little bit um, gappy on this side. I think it's too close over there. So I'm just going to pull it along this side. So I'm also stretching it, but I'm also positioning it into place. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to flip that over again. And now it's time to add the glue onto the fabric and also onto the inside of that rim. Here's some paper. And we're gonna get that glue. You're going to stand this up and you'll just be applying glue around the edges.
and I'm using a blue glue stick because I like the fact that you can actually see it but what's really important is that you get it all the way to the edges there. Now when you get to this part here that's very hard it sort of gets in the way so you're just going to sort of hold it and we're just going to apply some glue like that. Just, I'm just putting my finger underneath it just to be able to get that glue on. I want to apply a little bit of glue to the inside of that rim. Okay, now that that's done, we've got enough glue and we can start folding that in. And I'll just show you up close because what you're doing here is obviously you're going to have these little fold marks as you can see. So you just need to fold it in as tightly as possible all the way around the edges. So yours should look a little bit like this. Now there are some little sort of bumps along the edges but that doesn't matter because we're going to finish that off. Now what you want to do also is you want to tighten that screw until your fingers can't tighten it anymore. And we check on this side, that looks beautiful. Nice and even and also the other reason why I, I use this glue instead of those liquidy kind of um, glues is because you don't get any marks around the edges, that's nice and clean. Now what I'm going to do is get my cutout circle. I'm actually going to sign mine. All right, back to my scrap piece of paper and I'm just gonna apply the glue around the edges. Once again, make sure you go all the way to the edge. Don't wanna get any glue on the other side of that. I'm going to keep that nice and clean. Quite well finished off, as you can see. Now, our thumbtacks. They are going to go in on either side, here and here, so that we can actually hang it. So I'm just going to press those in. And you just got to be careful that I prefer not to go in between the hoops because I find that that's not actually very stable. So if you can find that spot, go right into the hoop. Now we get our string and what you can do is you can make your string, let's just attach it on one side first, I'm just hiding the knot underneath and I'll cut that off. Okay now with your string if you want it to be visible from the other side, then you'd obviously make it that long. If you wanted to keep it invisible, then you'd make it that short. I actually like the strings to be visible, so I'm gonna make mine that long. 